Hi, I'm Paige. I'm the Healthy Family Doc. I am a wife, a mama, a family doctor, and I am here to share with you five things you can do right now to improve your health. The kiddos are napping, my husband's at work. I'm gonna give you the five things you can do right now to improve your health. Number one, first thing up, eat more fruit. Yes, I mean fruit. We all hear the advice to eat more fruit, eat more vegetables, eat more whole foods. Those things are awesome. All those changes over time are gonna be really, really helpful for your health, but it's easy to eat more fruit. We love it, our kids love it, it's tasty, it's fresh, it's sweet. Eat a whole fruit anytime you can. So what I mean by that is fruit with the skin on. So a whole apple with the skin, a pear with the skin, grapes, watermelon, grapefruit, anything you can think of that you enjoy, eat all the fruit. Little changes will help over time. Fruit is not too high in sugar. It's balanced with fiber. It has fructose in it, which your body can metabolize in a different way than table sugar, for example. So tip number one, eat more fruit. Number two, get outside for 10 minutes before 10 a.m. So I want you to open your doors, step outside. Even if you're walking around your driveway for 10 minutes, if you're standing on your front porch for 10 minutes, this is going to improve your sleep. It's going to in turn improve your mood. It's going to balance your hormones, especially the ones that are really important to help you feel energized in the morning like cortisol and to feel sleepy at night like melatonin. So you want to get 10 minutes of outside sunlight every single day before 10 a.m. Quick, easy ways to do this, have a coffee outside, have your breakfast outside, walk really far to get into work, right? So park at the back of the parking lot, walk for 10 minutes to get inside and make sure you're in bright sunlight as best you can, weather permitting, obviously, before 10 a.m. Number three in the top five things you can do for your health right now is to stop eating late at night. What I mean specifically is to stop eating three hours before you go to bed. What you want to do is work on achieving 12 hours of not eating at all, which sounds like a lot when you think about 12 hours, but if you pair that with your overnight sleeping, ideally seven to nine hours, right? Pair that with your overnight sleeping and it's really not that hard to achieve. When you eat in the morning, you should be truly breaking a fast. So you want to breakfast, break fast, and a fast could easily be 12 hours overnight. You get the biggest bang for your buck as far as health benefits, weight stabilization, being able to manage your blood glucose better if you stop eating late in the night. So think about it, if your dinner meal ends at 7 p.m., you're just not gonna eat again until 7 a.m. It's not that hard once you get used to it. And if your first morning meal is say 8 a.m., then stop eating at 7 or 8 p.m. You can work it backwards too. Number four is to breathe. Breathe with intention. I mean, taking some big deep breaths while you're driving, while you're at a traffic light, while you're having a cup of tea in the morning, while you're walking from your far parking spot into your work, that 10 minutes that you're out in the sunlight, breathing with intention is different than taking a deep breath. So this is your chance in the day to be grateful, to breathe in the feelings that you want in your day. Let me give you an example. If you're gonna do breathing with intention, you take a big breath in and you breathe in what you want for that day. So you say something like, breathe in peace, breathe out stress, and you blow that breath away. Breathe in happiness, breathe out sadness. Anything you want to achieve or you want to be grateful for, do that with breathing with intention. That's the fourth thing you can do for your health right now. It takes no time at all. You can do it while you're getting outside for 10 minutes. Number five, top five things to do for your health today is to unfollow a social media account that does not make you feel positive or good about yourself. I know that you're following an account that you're constantly comparing yourself to. Are they making better meals than I am? Are they disciplining their children in a better way? Are they exercising more? Are they thinner? Are they more fit? Do they have better sleep schedules? Do they have a cleaner house? Whatever it is, 
unfollow that account. We don't want to surround ourselves with things that make us feel inadequate. If there is somebody on social media, a friend, an influencer, somebody that you just follow, a friend of a friend, go in right now, unfollow one person. We wanna use social media to feel empowered, to feel inspired, to feel educated. We don't want it to make us feel insecure, negative, or like we have to keep up with a neighbor that we don't even know, right? We're not supposed to be exposed to everybody else's joys and hardships. We wanna experience those things with our tight-knit group of friends so we can have that experience together. Make sure that if you're tapping into social media, you're doing it in a way that's positive for you, that allows you to ride the highs and lows of your life with your core group, but not experience everyone else's influence on your life that is potentially negative. So that's what I have for you today. The top five things today you can do for your health. Number one, eat more fruit. Number two, get outside, specifically in the morning for 10 minutes before 10 a.m. Number three, stop eating at night. Make sure you're going at least 12 hours without food. And in the morning, you're truly breaking a fast. Number four, breathe with intention. Breathe in all the happy, grateful feelings. Breathe out all the stressful, negative ones. Number five, unfollow a social media account that is not making you feel empowered, inspired, or educated. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be back with some more helpful tips and a little sneak peek into the life of a family doctor and how we live to help us achieve better health.